Hey church, it's me, Chip. Hope you're doing good. We are in the middle of an awesome series of devotions called What If? We're just reimagining Bible stories, just a handful of them, to squeeze all the juice out of them that we possibly can and look at how it applies to our own lives. We've already had What If Saul Fought Goliath Instead of David. We've had What If Lot didn't, Lot's Wife Didn't Look Back. Uh, but she kept her focus. And this day we are looking at what if Zacchaeus was born taller? Mm. Do you know the story of Zacchaeus who climbed up in the tree? Here's a little snippet from Luke chapter 19, verses 2 to 3. He, talking about Zacchaeus, wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. <laughs> I love this story of a short tax collector getting Jesus' attention by climbing a sycamore tree, then promising to change his ways after Jesus spots him and promises to come to his house. But it does beg the question, would any of it had taken place if Zacchaeus hadn't been born short? <laughs> Maybe what many would view as his deficiency was actually, in a way, Zacchaeus' superpower enabling him to use innovation and creativity as a setup to his breakthrough. In the end, salvation came to his house, and his story has been used as an illustration of how we can display faith ever since. So, how do we apply it to ourselves? Well, what do you see as your limitation that could actually be your superpower, a bit like Zacchaeus. How might it serve as a setup to break through in both your own life and the lives of others? Don't forget that as long as we're still on this planet, we got breath in our lungs. God is taking his time crafting our story, and he will get the glory that he deserves in the end. The best thing we can do is surrender ourselves to his master plan. So I hope that encourages you guys like it encouraged me, just thinking out loud, looking at what we might be able to apply to our own lives, asking what if. Tomorrow, we are going to look at what if Mary, the mother of Jesus, had said no to the angel Gabriel when he came to announce the good tidings of great joy. I'll see you guys tomorrow.